Now, from your weather authority, Chief Meteorologist Wayne Hart. Another warm day despite the clouds moving in well in advance of Delta, which is still going to impact our weather over the weekend. But the headline today is that rainfall amounts are coming down. And it's kind of a good news, bad news situation. I had a viewer point out to me earlier tonight that we need some rain, especially northern portions of the tri-state. And this was our one really good opportunity to get it. And now it looks like amounts will be less than an inch and across a good deal of the area. Uh, the timing, though, for the weekend looking better, Saturday especially, but still uh, a better chance of rain unfolding for late Saturday night and Sunday mornings. So let's get right to it. Highs today generally in the mid-80s. Even though a cold front came through during the pre-dawn hours, all it really did was drop the humidity a little bit. And tomorrow, with a little more cloud cover, temperatures will be just a little bit cooler. And live first warning Doppler radar is dry. This time tomorrow night, maybe a few spotty showers down to our south. But it really looks like we'll have to wait until late Saturday, if not Saturday night, for the significant rain to get here. Live view from the east side of Evansville. Here's downtown Evansville, our Zemer Funeral Home Tower camera, on a comfortable, mild October evening. 65 degrees right now, dew points in the 50s. It's headed for the 60s. A little more humidity as that tropical air moves our way. We have a north-northeast wind, a light one behind that front that moved through early today. Temperatures now falling through the 60s. We're at 65 in Evansville, 67 Henderson, 70 in Owensboro. Compared to last night at this time, a little cooler north of the river, a little warmer to the south. But in general, by daybreak tomorrow morning, we'll be a little warmer than last night, with lows running at about 55 to 60. So we have the cloud cover, but the rain is still well down to our south as Hurricane Delta continues to intensify in the Gulf of Mexico. Latest fix from the Hurricane Center has the winds now up to 120 miles per hour. It reached Category 3 status again this afternoon, now making its turn more to the north. And the track really isn't changing all that much. Landfall looks to be late tomorrow afternoon, early evening in southwestern Louisiana as a borderline Cat 2, Cat 3 hurricane. Same area that was pounded by Hurricane Laura about six weeks ago. They haven't even recovered from that. And now another major hurricane coming their way. Now it's going to weaken inland, of course, as it moves uh, up into northern Mississippi as a tropical depression by Saturday evening and then turns up into Tennessee, passing through Nashville as a weakening area of low pressure by early Sunday evening. So close enough to keep maybe a little spotty light rain around here by late Sunday. But hopefully as the day wears on Sunday, we'll see the rain diminishing as we head through the afternoon. And there again is a track has not changed all that much. It's just a question of how much rain we see in advance of the center of the low. Initially thought it would be quite a bit, but now it looks like we'll have to wait for that center to get a little closer uh, Saturday night into Sunday morning. So future tracker keeps us partly cloudy overnight. Clouds increase tomorrow, a breezy warm day, upper 70s to lower 80s across the area, just a little cooler than today. Week 8 of home team Friday will be dry and warm. We just fall into the 60s tomorrow night during the evening. Our overnight low only in the low to mid 60s Saturday here we are at noon the rain still mainly down to the south 4 p.m. mainly to the south other guidance a little bit more to the north by late Saturday afternoon. We could see a little scattered light rain flirting with the Evansville area, but this is the third model run with our future tracker uh, model that keeps everything to the south during the day on Saturday. We're dry at 7 p.m., still dry at 10 p.m., and finally by daybreak Sunday, we get the rain coming up from the south, but the heaviest is down here in our southern counties. The metro gets a little bit, not much at all for our northern counties, and then during the day, we see that rain come to an end on Sunday afternoon. Afternoon. And rainfall amounts, they're not all that significant. Earlier, it was looking like one to three inches, and now any one inch amounts would be well down in our southeastern counties. Future Tracker has less than a tenth of an inch for Evansville, but over a half inch for the Owensboro area. So it could be a fine line between a lot of rain to the southeast, not so much to the northwest. 55 to 60 overnight. The clouds increase tomorrow. Breezy, warm 78 to 83. Weather aware tag is off Saturday now. So skies will be mostly cloudy. Those scattered light rain or southern counties will begin to come north late in the day, increasing later Saturday night. Best chance of rain and the new models, two of them this evening, still confirming that early Sunday is our best chance, diminishing if not ending in the afternoon. 76, a cold front comes through Monday with a few showers and thunder showers, and then we cool back to normal for next week. So again, kind of a good news, bad news situation. We need the rain, but the chances are going down. But if you have outdoor plans, especially for Saturday, it's looking a little better. No, that doesn't sound yeah. bad at all. Thank you, Wayne.